Hey YouTube, today I'd like to show you just one of many free ways to make yourself a drop chart for your ammo. Now if you've ever looked at a box of factory ammo, in this case I've got some Hornady Superformance Match 308. If you've ever looked and seen the little uh, drop chart that they make for you, you know that's a good place to begin, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you're going to be getting out of your particular rifle. Um, you know, in my case, I've got a 20 inch barrel, so my velocities are going to be a little bit slower uh, and my drop is going to be more pronounced than what's on, on the box here. You know, if you, unless you have the same exact uh, rifle and barrel that they tested these with at the factory, you're probably not going to get these exact numbers. So, what I'd like to do is show you a way to. Um, generate your own drop chart using the technology that's out there. It's uh, a free way to do it. It's uh, probably not the most exact advanced uh, drop chart that you can get. I mean there is uh, software out there that's more advanced but you have to pay for that software. So I'll just show you um, one or two inexpensive uh, basically free ways to make a custom drop chart for your loads whether you're using factory ammo or uh, hand loads like I do and um, you know hopefully it'll help you out get you, you know, help you get a little bit more precision out of your um, shooting and make your time at the range more valuable especially with the way ammo availability and prices are these days so let me switch over to the computer and, <clears throat> and I'll show you what I do okay so the first thing that you need is uh, you, you definitely need some kind of chronograph. There are the expensive fancy ones out there from manufacturers like uh, Oler, but if you're just um, a, like a recreational shooter, um, not in serious competition, then one of these Crony F1s is probably all you need. It's the basic Crony model, uh, it works pretty well. Is it the most precise instrument out there? Uh, no, probably not. But if you're shooting on a budget and just shooting once in a while and you just want to you know, get a start with improving the, um, the precision of your shots, then um, this 80, well not 80, 90 to 100 dollar Crony F1 is probably all you need. Okay, so you've gone to the range, you've shot your loads, uh, whether factory or hand loads, through the Crony. Uh, I recommend a, a minimum of five shots to give you enough um, statistical power uh, you know the more information you have the better but you need at least five shots so on this particular day that I went to the range I had really good results with my um, with the Nosler ballistic tip varmint 60 grain with that 22 and a half grains of benchmark powder out of my AR so here's um, a list of uh, five shots and it's just a simple statistic um, Simple, simple arithmetic, you add them up, divide by five, and there you see the average velocity of 2,893 feet per second. Okay, now this is really helpful because instead of relying on the velocities that are on the box of ammo or inside the uh, reloading manual, now I have an average velocity from my exact rifle with this load. And, um, you know, there's other more powerful calculations that, that can be done from the, uh, the data that you get from the crony, like uh, variance and standard deviation. But uh, in this video, um, it, we're just going to keep it simple. And we just want to get this average velocity uh, along with the ballistic coefficient of our bullet. I'll show you where to find that in a second. Uh, we just want to use that to get a, a basic drop chart from you know, 50, 100 yards out to however far you want to shoot. 